Hello guys, welcome back to the Cloud and Data Science channel. Few weeks back, Databricks has a big announcement that is PySpark English SDK. If you are a Spark developer who got bored of writing Python or Scala or Java code, then it is for you. So we need not to learn any language. Now we can use English to work with Spark. We can simply write commands in our natural language. So here English is used as the natural programming language for Apache Spark. Let us see a few examples. Let us see how it works. User writes the source code in English language and here the compiler is generative AI that converts into byte code, PySpark byte code. Let us see the example number one. So this English SDK, PySpark English SDK can be used for the data ingestion process. For example, if you are a data scientist who needs to ingest 2022 USA national auto sales, you can do this with just two lines of code. You can initialize Spark AI using Spark AI equals to Spark AI by calling that Spark AI constructor. Then you can create the data frame simply Spark AI dot create day of. You can write the natural language, English language like 2022 USC National Auto Sales by brand. Then it simply creates the data frame with the data for the 2022 USC National Auto Sales. See how it is. Very easy, it is a natural language. So, no need of any learning any language. Anybody can write and work with this by Spark. Example number two. If we want to view the market share distribution across automotive components, then we can data frame dot a dot plot. We can write natural language pie chart for US sales market shares show the top five brands and the sum of the others. So that generates the spy chart with the market share of top five brands and others. See uh, how simple it is. So basically it is, it can be used for the ingestion process by Spark English SDK and transformation verification and uh, visualization. So it uses generative AI technology and uh, large language models to convert that English language into the uh, PySpark, Python source code generation and it converts into byte code. It is very interesting to see it is, uh, yeah, try this, the documentation is available uh thanks for watching if you like this video don't forget to subscribe until next video bye bye